Hello and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be playing some grid. Yes, I'm going to be taking a look at the career mode for this game. I've been lucky enough to be sent an early code to this one and we're going to start a, a fresh career mode. Now, I was hoping, if I could get across to where I needed to go, to have Falry's Motorsport as the team name. Sadly, uh, if we try and put in Fail Race Motorsport, we get Fail Race Motorsport. So, we're just going to have to be FRM. It's going to have to do for this. Uh, so, this is the teammate you start off with. Uh, there are plenty of these different teammates you can unlock as you get higher in the rankings. Uh, you can unlock better teammates. Uh, they have four different stats. So skill, attack, defense makes sense. I say makes sense. Uh, skill, how fast. Attack, how good at overtaking. Defend, how good at not getting overtaken. Loyalty is a curious one. I'm kind of keen to see how that plays out. Does that mean they'll listen to your orders? Potentially move out of your way if you're faster? Something like that. Um, I don't know. I don't think your teammate can just bugger off and leave you without a teammate. But uh, there we go. That is a thing to take into consideration as well. Uh, so... We are, I say we're ready to go. I've done a couple of quick races just because I wanted to test some things out. And now we are going to be good to jump into the career mode. We need to buy a car. And the question is, what the hell do we buy first? So this is the career screen. If you see some of my earlier footage on this game, I've seen it all completed. This is how you start off with everything. Uh, we can either begin with a touring car, a muscle car, which is, let's face it, quite the normal sort of thing I would go for. Uh, JDM tuner cars, if you like. Uh, GT cars. You can actually start off with GT. If you want to go jump straight into GT4s. F1000s, if you want to have a go with them. Uh, you can actually start off doing a mini event, if you want. I presume this will unlock a mini for us. Might as well give it a try. I was expecting it to ask me to buy a car. But I guess... We are going to go racing with the minis. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, the well, Mini Migula Challenge is a pretty damn awesome vehicle. I again, I remember, was it Thruxton? They had the minis supporting the uh, British Touring Cars, and the mini race was unbelievably good. I think we went and replicated it on Forza at some point. And, uh, yeah, the, these things were spectacular fun to watch racing, so hopefully we will be able to get some uh, very good racing. I am starting uh, towards the back of the field. Let's see what we can do. San Francisco, you may remember this from the earlier grid games. Always an interesting track, this one. I have got difficulty settings. No assists. AI uh, whacked up onto uh, the very hard settings, so as tough as they can, can be. Should, from my little bit of testing, put up a pretty good fight. Should be an interesting race. Uh, we might struggle. I don't actually know what our goal was. I have to boot my teammate. Sorry, teammate. Um, I needed to get through. Okay, we're in a hurry. We've only got four laps. We'll try and work our way <laughs> through the field here. Uh, there's a big curb. Now, I was doing a, I did a race around here in the Sierra. I think it was the touring car. And the curbs here, unlikely to roll a car quite, but you get quite a long way up onto two wheels. In fact, the Mini was half expect I was expecting a little bit more grip. Uh, Mini, of course, front wheel drive. It's a touch more understeery than I was expecting the car to be, but there we go. Come on, get a good run. There we go. That's going to be an eighth position uh, taken away from them. Oh, just a little bump. Just a little, little nudge. We're just opening your boot. That's all we're doing. We're helping you out. We're, get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to push you through the corners. What a find away pass. Such a wonky line. We'll go with a little bit of a... It's fine. It's, it's only bodywork damage. We've got to show off the damage. It's an important part of a grid game. Uh, there can be some pretty big accidents. Cars do uh, lose bodywork as they go. Uh, we've had some minor... Only minor scrapes. There is terminal damage in this one, which is interesting to see if you hit the wall too hard you can completely and utterly wreck your race. Now, there are rewinds. I have left them. I left five on. Uh, there is only a limited number per race, if you like. I would imagine you can rewind out of terminal damage if you so wish. Uh, we are desperately trying. I think I'm going to run out of laps, you know, here to get up to these guys. I think I'll catch them, but it's. I presume it'll probably want me to be in a top three position to complete this challenge. If it wants me to win, I'm going to have to have a lot better first lap here. 
Because four laps is not much to work your way from back. Actually, I say you work your way from back. I believe you can do qualifying if you want. Uh, so you can do like a time trial uh, for a qualifying lap. So that, well, you don't have the immense amount of work that I have done here. We've got a really good run out the final corner. Come on, Mini. Someone's lost a bit of their car. Wasn't me. Oh, it was the car up ahead. Lost its boot. Uh, <laughs> not from me. The black and purple car is also looking like that might have a potential boot escaping moment. We have got to get a move on here. I'm sorry, I have got to be a little bit rude. If we want a top three, which is what I do want uh, here, we're going to have I mean, I want a victory. However, we are probably a little too far back. We're going to have to have an absolutely mega run now. One more corner to go, really, because it's all flat out down here. I, I do like the mini. It's a little bit, it takes a little bit more adjusting to than I was expecting it to, uh, in all honesty. There goes the... Uh, black and purple mini. Off goes the boot. We're going to have the car try to cut back underneath us, I think, on the exit. It won't be enough. Ooh. Fun race. <laughs> Fun race indeed. I will take that. Uh, I hope that's enough for it to... I mean, if I have to do that one again, what a shame. <laughs> Got fastest lap of the race. Our teammate didn't do amazingly well down in 12th place. I'll take it, though. I will. Oh, it might be a... T I don't know if it's a two-race thing or not. Either way, it's a good... As, as places to start a career mode go, racing a Mini around a street circuit, not a bad... Not a bad thing to do. So, you get uh, XP for just about everything you do in here. The XP is broken down into different categories. Speed, I think, is to do with... Um, like, track position, potentially. Um, or maybe even, like, top speed of the car. Technique... Uh, sort of like overtaking and various bits of bravery. I think it's like getting close to walls and close to other cards and all that kind of... Either way, it all adds up to get your XP to level up and, and unlock various bits and pieces as we go along. I also love how I haven't painted my cars yet. It instinctively knows orange and black is the colour to go for. Uh, all of the banners you see on the screen, they're all customisable with bits and pieces that you unlock as you go through. Hey, we got a trophy. It's only a bronze, but... Oh, actually, I had to finish in the top half. Cool. Uh, so these are all finished third above. You know what? I'm going to go. It's my... I always start with a muscle car. I love, Of course, I absolutely love my muscle cars. You know what? This time, I'm, I'm going to go completely against type, and we're going to start with the tuna cars. So we're going to buy our first vehicle, and I spot a 300... This is an interesting selection, but I spot a 300ZX, and that is instantly going to win. Actually, quite a cool little selection. So we have modern cars, S2000 and the BRZ. We have really classic cars, the Skyline 2000, the Datsun 240, both beautiful cars, and then we have something sat in the middle, but I love the 300ZX. You know, a game that lets me have a 300ZX as a first car, generally pretty good. Yes, let us purchase our first vehicle. Now we can do the, the livery. So, <laughs> that's the stock livery it comes with. Now you can change to all sorts of different things. Now, these will be unlocked, I have no doubt, as you go along. All sorts of special kind of liveries if you want to. Uh, we want something that I can make vaguely fail racy. And I don't actually know if we have any control over the sponsors on the vehicle, which... Ah, this looks like... This looks like the sort of paint we want on our car. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I don't know... We can turn the sponsors on and off. I haven't actually seen any sort of options for... Uh, what is this changing? Ah, oh, that's changing like a stripe in there? It's not really sure. Uh, we'll go with black stripes. Not really black stripes. Maybe we go with... This doesn't seem to be going with the colour I want it to. So instead, we will go with that. Secondary... Oh no, secondary will have as that, and then tertiary. I quite like that. It's slight of a slight different take on the old uh, fail race livery. Fantastic. That looks good. Uh, <laughs> it will. It will work. Okay, so we can jump into that. Oh, we go racing around the same circuit. Thank you, game. Uh, we have got. Let's try to see. I've oh, got two races. San Francisco and Shanghai. Ooh, it's going to be raining around this circuit. Uh, yeah, it doesn't sadly look like we have control over the sponsors. It looks like they are applied to the vehicle. Unlike the original grid, where you'd sign 
sponsorship deals, if you like. Which I did like that uh, sort of financial, small financial management um, part to the game as it is. It just looks like these are liveries that uh, that are applied, uh, which probably have done some qualifying. But never mind, uh, we do not have a mighty wing on the back of the 300ZX, which is a little bit of a shame. Every car is better with a mighty wing. Can I go around the outside of turn one? No, I'll cut back underneath. We'll take a sneaky shortcut. Was, oh, dear. No. <laughs> oh, no. Hello, fellow orange car. Don't mind me. This was always the fun bit. You know, I'm not sure my throttle control is quite where it needs to be with this. The fun bit with San Francisco was the immense greed that you could get over the curbs. It was always fun to see just how much you could uh, get away with jumping the curbs. It's that risk versus reward thing. Yeah, I can jump the curbs more than the AI cars can. Absolutely I can and make up some time. But if you get that wrong, you are going to be visiting a very solid wall. There is no runoff area here. And... That's why I love this circuit. I think every, most, say everyone, most people, lots of people, uh, like the San Francisco circuit from Grid. I'm glad to see it back here. I would like perhaps a few more real-world circuits. However, uh, there are some very good fictional tracks to be driving around. We're going to scoot around the outside of our teammate. Let's not be an idiot with the throttle anymore. I think I've kind of scuffled my chances of getting in the top three in this championship, barring, oh, well, some... Forceful. We're going to go with we're going to go with forceful uh, positioning. Ooh, get off the wall. Get off the wall, you muppet. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't lose out to that bloody S2000. We will cut across its nose a little bit. We're up to 12. It's not going to be enough. It's, it's not. <laughs> it's not going to be enough. Uh, weather effects. I mean, pretty. Oh, very pretty. There's a backwards car in turn one. Uh, the AIs will make mistakes. They make quite natural mistakes as well. Vehicles spinning. I've seen vehicles that, especially in the wet, I've seen vehicles that uh, have got big tank slappers going on and will uh, try and save a spin and end up spinning back the other way across the circuit. Uh, they're good fun. The AI are generally pretty good fun. Even if you're in a battle for 10th, that's still, still exciting racing against these guys. I have to say, the balance between AI making mistakes, AIs being aggressive, has been pretty well drawn here. Uh, I've had I, mean, I had a terrible start to this race, which didn't help. Oh no! We tried to sneak up the inside and it's all gone wrong. That is something that you are going to have to... Ah. <sighs> I'm going to have to restart. That is something you're going to have to get used to with this game. Something that I've found... In fact, let's just try the qualifying. I don't actually... I haven't tried the qualifying yet on this game, so let's give it a go. Overtaking is half-assed passes are not going to work. You spin yourself. With the way the handling works on this game and the way the, the collisions, if you like, between vehicles work, um, if you go for a half-assed lazy pass, you are going to come off worse. You will lose that battle. You will spin yourself, as you saw with me. And that's, you know, my bad. Essentially, I was trying to be a bit greedy and had a had a sneak up the inside, and it didn't quite work out. So, yeah, you know, you've got to be got to be that little bit that little bit more careful with your passes uh, because, well, you've always got to be careful with which AIs. As I talked about a little bit when I was doing the the preview. Uh, the AIs all have their own sort of different profiles and some are naturally more aggressive than others and it is very clear some will really defend hard, some will give you a bit more space and so on and that does make for an interesting fight with some of them. There we go. That will be a hold position. So that, if you want to, you can go through and do qualifying. I didn't expect it to work like that when I saw the option, but that is the first time I've actually tested it. Always interesting, trying to do that on a video. Uh, that now means that we will start from pole position. Gives me the best chance of running away at the front. Uh, I do like that we have like this little grid walk that goes through, and uh, this will be the same for multiplayer as well. Uh, we are going to try, stay out of trouble, uh, get a little bit of a iffy start, although I suspect everybody is going to get a little bit of an iffy start uh, with these cars here. These are big, well, I say they're big. Some of us are in big, heavy cars. Three, as much as I love the 300ZX, 
in this field, it is a big, <laughs> heavy car. Um, yeah, like, like probably, eh, maybe not quite twice the weight, but not far off that to somewhere like the Datsuns and so on. Uh, maybe it should be a good amount of power. I just noticed, oh, I'm not really paying much attention, the exhausts on this are gargantuan. They are dustbins on the back. We have definitely got some dustbins going on at the back of 300ZX. Let's carry a lot of speed, or as much speed as I dare, through there. That's nice. Uh, I will say this car rides the curves quite nicely. Uh, this track, or any of the street circuits, you can get into a little bit of trouble on the curves. Now, don't spin the wheels up in this turn one. It's really tempting to be a little greedy with the throttle, and <laughs> that's when things go wrong. Uh, shall we have a look what it's like inside the car? Oh, it's very dark. Um, Okay, you know what? I like the vision out here. I feel like that's... The <laughs> I like seeing where I'm going. It's very, very dark from in there. That would be a lot of guesswork involved. I'm trying to figure out... To be fair, in these kind of conditions, it is difficult. And this is serious rain we've got going on right now. There doesn't seem to be any giant puddles around. We're not going to get sort of aquaplaning. At the end of the day, Grid is more of an arcade racer. And that's fine. What it does, it does very, very well indeed. Uh, but yeah, we haven't got big puddles to worry about, big aquaplaning moments as such. There is just a slight less grip, a slight easier to spin the wheels up, get yourself in trouble, basically. I'm being pushed pretty hard by the fair lady's head behind. Uh, I have tended to see, from my experience so far of the game, that one AI car will, I say run away at the front, so generally there'll be one vehicle that will pull a gap if you can't go with it in the early stages and that can be very difficult to catch back up to and as you can see here the fair lady is giving us some pressure uh, whereas the rest of the field is a little bit further back I say pressure it's not really looking for a way past but it's there if I do a half spin if I do something stupid we would be in trouble like that for an example just don't don't go back to second while we're coming out of this corner because it's too wet. You will go sideways. Uh, the rest of the pack is all very, very bunched up. As we head on this final lap, a little bit close to the wall over there. That's fine. Yeah, everything is good. Uh, I'll just leave it in fourth for that section just so I don't <laughs> excite the rear of the car. He's not going to be look. He's not going to be close enough to have a look for a way back. Or a way past, I should say, because he wasn't back past. He was never in the lead. We have led from flag to flag at a very, very damp San Francisco circuit. I apologise, having ended up run the same track twice. Didn't quite think about that. And there we go. The 300X takes victory. 10,000 credits. Not too many costs. We didn't have too many dings on the wall, which is nice. And there we go. Money doesn't seem too bad. There are some very, very expensive cars in this. Some of the later game stuff, uh, some of the Can-Am cars, for example, are quite a lot of money uh, to buy. I think about seven, 800,000 credits, if I remember. Uh, so, you know, you'll be glad that the money isn't uh, too terrible. Hey, we have got some rewards. That is some extra, extra monies for me. I think we might actually have made up as much money as we've spent on the who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Um, we are going to a kind of figure of eight circuit up next. Uh, I will not go for the um, qualifying. We'll we'll give ourselves a little bit. Of what our teammates up in sixth? Fantastic. Where? Oh, I didn't realise I could scroll through this. I can find. Where am I? Oh, game. Oh, is it reversed? I think that reverses the grid of the finishing positions because I'm pretty sure. Frederick was... Ah, oh, now that... That I like. That should mix up the AI results no end. Okay, yeah, I'm up for not bothering with qualifying. Uh, I could go for hot lap qualifying. However, no, no, let's... let's we'll work for it. That looks almost like a Raven West car. I believe Raven West turn up in this. Are you? I mean, it's kind of the right colours. Almost. Uh, <laughs> I think I've spotted like a few Raven West cars around on the uh, sort of career mode bit. Um, the orange thing I presume is rival nest. So there is a nemesis system whereby if you crash into another car heavily, they will become your nemesis. They will really not want to let you pass. I presume, and there's a green symbol is your teammate. I presume the orange symbol is like championship rival or something. 
uh, because that was the car that we were battling with. Uh, can we punch through the middle of all this? Maybe. That looks an awful lot like a Castrol car on the inside. <laughs> Don't get distracted by all the other vehicles. Nick! We go no, we're not going. Nick, Nick, you're useless. Uh, I was going to try and give you a push, but it didn't really work, did it? Safe to say. Safe to say, teamwork failed quite miserably. We're now in ninth. I mean, if... Let's see. If, with this reverse grid, it's going to make championships... It's going to make championships interesting, and it makes it more... I say worthwhile continuing. It means you don't have to be winning everything. It means if you have a tough race, you can still stand a chance of winning a championship. Nothing worse, I find, than games that have the set AI, I say almost like set AI finishing position, so you're almost guaranteed to have to win everything to, to beat championship. I like mixed up results, because outside of Formula 1 and V8 Supercars, to be fair, this year, but even Formula 1 has got more mixed up results than V8 Supercars in the last few races. Um, yeah, it's good to have a, have a mixture of stuff going on, and it encourages you to keep going from a daft race rather than just having to restart everything. I don't know how much I can get away with on this circuit, having not driven this particular one. It was a little bit clumsy from me there. Can I have a look through? No, I should have been a bit braver. Come on, Nissan. Balance-wise, all of these cars seem pretty even. I wouldn't say I'm being outclassed here. Uh, I might not quite be the best handling. We gave them a big shove. Do apologise. <laughs> My Nissan okay? It's both Nissans okay, to be honest, is an, is an important question. Uh, someone's out in the wall. In fact, the leader is long gone. That almost looks like a Nyan Cat livery going on. <laughs> we got distracted again. Yes, we have the Nyan Cat skyline. That's definitely Nyan Cat Nissan. There you go. Uh, not quite as good as the Veloster Nyan from... Uh, it isn't quite. But you could probably make it so with some, with some colouring. We may have given... A little bit of a bump. There was a little bit of a bump and run. I don't think there are any stewards to tell me off. My car is holding up okay. There are only minor bumps. If the leader could have a big spin now, that would be nice. Because we do not have the time to chase them down. We are going to be braver this time around. Flat out through that section. Oh, come on. We can do it. We can catch. We can get second. I would like second here. I think I was a little too cowardly. Yeah, definitely more bravery required there. Oh, no. Ah, don't touch the wall. Don't touch the wall. Don't be an idiot. Uh, can we get a good run? We get a good run. Is it going to be enough? I think they'll outdrag me to the finish line. They will. Oh, it's going to be a third for me. Damn it. Another lap would have been nice. <laughs> Another lap would have been good. I'll take 7,500 credits from that, and it should be enough for a championship. There we go. So yeah, it does. It mixes up the results. That is very, very good news. I like to see that. like to see that a lot. Uh, teams. Hey! We took the team championship. Only just. But we took the team yeah, championship. Uh, I guess these are leaderboard times. Hey! We beat Jimmy! <laughs> By four tenths of a second, both using a 300ZX. Fantastic. <laughs> Ah, uh, and there we go. That uh, is a little look at some of the some of the grid career mode, starting with a 300ZX. An unusual choice of car for me. Well, I would go for muscle. A, a usual choice of car for me, in a different category to where I'd normally start. Um, but there we go. We got ahead of the rival. We finished championship. Um, oh, we got 20,000 for completing that. We got various bits and pieces we go through, so that's how we got... Decent chunk of money. Ah, look at that. First, I presume this is championship position because I was third in the uh, actual race. I do like the little podium screen. That's quite neat. Having the cars pull up there. And there we go. My first championship. So I haven't completed that championship. We have now got uh, these, these next few unlocked. You can go through this whatever order you want. If you want to focus on GT cars, you can work your way through there. Uh, and to, to unlock the high-end series, work your way through the invitational events and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of there's a lot of racing to be done in the career mode. We've we've just done the first bit. Uh, that will get, that will be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.